Yeah, basically it started from grime music, early days, listening to Wiley and everyone. Just in the youth club studio making tunes in there. And about 2007, I met someone called Dream, up and, well now up and coming, already known producer, quite big now. Um, yeah, he got me more into dubstep. <laughs> Um, I'd say my main influences were probably people like Rusko's early days, Scream, Benga, Astition, Digital Mystics. All just because I've always been into deep sub bases and their tunes provided that way. When it's come to grime, my style has normally been like high top, two step. For MCs to spit on, like round my stage. But, but not literally spit on, but to rap on. I've moved on from that. Now, when I make dubstep, I wouldn't really say I had a style because my tunes can vary from jump up, high pitched, speaker breaking basses to normal sub bass, normal bass. Like I've performed in many places, but I'd say my favourite place to perform would probably be Cable, just because it's London, it's home. The atmosphere is always the same. You could be expecting a lot from me this year. EPs, vinyl releases. I've got a 12 day tour coming up. You'll see me worldwide, close to everywhere. Yeah, that's mainly it, but there should be a lot of collaborations coming up. Basically, the 12 day tour will be spread around Leeds, London, Bristol, all big events to do with dubstep like Bass Laced, Event and Cable. We'll feature the likes of Dreaming and Integral of Dub Freaks, Texting Focus of Proper Tech, and a lot more big names worth going to. 